Hello everybody and welcome to the first ever season of United. This was actually left blank in the actual recording because we didn't have a name for the UHC. UHC! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I have no idea what that noise was. But this season, we are joined by many YouTubers from various sections of the Minecraft community. This UHC was organized in order to unite the communities and hopefully take a step in a new direction. I must mention, the purpose of this UHC is to not fill up your sweat buckets. Instead, we're focused more on sitting back, relaxing, having a fun time. So grab your popcorn. I'm gonna go take a seat, leave you in the story, and uh, let's... Let's do this. All right. All right, so huge thanks to Badline for hosting this event. And what the UTC will practically be is an FFA cut clean horseless with nether off. Episodes will be uploaded every other day by everyone in the round until final winner is chosen. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Good luck to everyone. <laughs> that is the worst noise I've ever heard. <laughs> Jesus, here we are again. I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm not nervous. I'm not gonna say that I am not nervous because I am nervous. All right, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to a uh, very different UHC. As you guys might have seen from the intro, we are joined by a whole host of, uh, of new faces. This is this is gonna be definitely a very odd season. I've never played a UHC with just these guys, and uh, you, you, some of you might know them as a uh, quote. Try hard PvPers, sweats, whatever you want to call them. There's people from all over the PvP community. I'm just going to start off this video talking a little bit about myself, simply for the fact that there might be people coming to the channel that don't know me and don't know what I'm about, don't know what I do. So, uh, yeah, this, this one really goes out to you guys. This is going to be like a biography. I'm a 21-year-old Minecraft YouTuber. Yeah, that's right. I'm 21 years old and I still play Minecraft. But we have a lot of fun with it over here on the channel. I'm not the best PvPer. I know a ton of you are going to be around here for PvP. I'm having no luck trying to find what I'm looking for right now. I just need, just need trees. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm not the best PvPer. I'm not a sweat in any sense of the word. I have got a sweaty texture pack on right now. I, w oh, I mean, I call it a sweaty texture pack. I think it's Wahoo's. There is that. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to fall in lava in the first 30 seconds. That would not be a good idea. But yeah, like I say, I'm not I'm not that great of a PvP. Yeah, I can left click, but I don't I don't really see myself winning this UHC anytime soon. There's people in here like Nestorio. I just, I'm, I'm not even going to name who is the best. I'm not even going to name who is the best because you guys would disagree. Disagree, there would be arguments in the comment section. There would be all kinds of stuff going on. But I got a horrific spawn. I got a really horrific spawn. I'm not... I'm not very good at strategizing in UHC. I kind of know how to cave. I kind of know like the basics. I have won a couple seasons in the past and I do have a stats win on Bad Lion for those, for those who care. I kind of know my stuff, but at the same time, I kind of have no idea. Kind of have absolutely no idea. I, all right. So I just spent my whole time cutting these trees down because I thought this biome was going to be bigger, but no, right here, there's an oak forest. All right, whatever, whatever. It's fine. This is going to be weird to get used to. This whole crafting GUI, I don't think I've ever used anything like it. So I'm going to miss a mess up my crafting a bunch during this. I can already guarantee it. I don't even know what stone looks like, but we can hop down here and get some. This looks, uh, this looks semi-decent for getting some stone. My sounds are kind of up, so I'm going to be able to hear everything in this UHC. The idea of it is to not sweat, to so sit back, relax, have fun, like I said in the intro. And that might add, it was my first ever UHC intro in front of everybody. That was weird. That was weird. I've never done it. And in front of people that I don't know either. Oh, well, don't really know. I know a couple people, but the majority of them, I've never spoken to them before. So it was kind of, it was kind of very odd, a very odd scenario to do my first UHC intro. Might have figured that I would have done it during the cube UHC back in the day. But then again, we all know who intro those. I'm just going to play this as I used to remember how to play it. Kind of relax, kind of like sitting back, chilling back, like I, uh, like I said. But at the same time, I do definitely want to get a kill on the board. I need to get a kill on the board because what's, what's the point of playing if you don't get a kill, right? That was actually one of my biggest issues when first like starting playing UHC on bad line is I would try and get highlights videos. I would try and get highlights out of it. I maybe got three, maybe got three highlights episodes and they were all so bad. They were all so bad. I was getting like no kills. It was just, it was not a good time. And it would be like every single day, every single day I would try and get the recording. I would surface and I would die instantly. So it just, it was never going well for me. People know how to get full diamond in this. That blows my mind. Every single game, these people, they hop out of their caves with full diamond and it is a struggle. It's scary seeing somebody with full diamond. Like it's scary. Cause you gotta be really lucky to kill them. You gotta be really lucky or really talented. And I am neither of the two. I'm neither of the two. I'm gonna take this to 64 wood. Maybe we cut down a couple more trees. I need to guarantee that I get apples. It is cut clean, so hopefully apple rates might be up a little bit. That'll be 
actually fantastic. Actually gonna dip down into that cave. There was some sugar cane here, some sugar cane. All right, here we go. I already have a craft. No, I'm just gonna make a ton of crafting benches because I'm not going back for that other one. Uh, let's step down here for a second. I do want to actually go and see if I can find a cow before I go down there. Can I find a cow in this biome? No, I can find chickens though. All right, I'm gonna plop this down, get a sword going. Let's just get our basic resources before we get ourselves trapped in a cave system. Oh, this is gonna be weird playing with short swords. I have never played with a PVP resource pack like this. I've ne <laughs> this, it looks ridiculous to me. It looks absolutely ridiculous, but at the same time, still kind of cool. Still kind of cool. Hopefully it will be able to help and I will actually be able to do good. Oh, look at that. Look at that click in action. Oh yeah. Oh, that click in action is too much real. You are crazy. Yep, you are absolutely wild. Barmy, off the rails. <laughs> All right, I'm at, yeah, scratch it. I'm gonna dip down here real, real quick. See if we can find some iron, get started with some iron. I don't have highlighted ores in this section pack, unfortunately, but I must mention it is a much easier to see than my other resource pack. My general resource pack that I use is a faithful edit. So everything is like 32X, so ores are really like, I guess not vibrant and you can't really see anything. So it's, it's never a good time. It's never a good time. I often find myself missing simple things. So especially since the stone is like all one color, it's, uh, it's actually very visually pleasing. Very visually pleasing. We're looking pretty good. We got a uh, we got a decent amount of iron. I gotta get away from this water. It is loud. It is loud. Okay, we're gonna dip over here. We don't need coal. Yeah, no, we don't need coal. Okay, let's see if we can get in here and mine this as fast as we can. Spider spawn uh, with no string. Nope, nope, no, nope, not with no string. With with no spider spawner with no with chests. Oh my god, how did I forget that? How did I forget that? I don't know if that spawns anything, but I'm gonna leave it there. Just for the sake of getting string, just in case I don't find a mine shaft. I don't want to be spending too much time in this cave, but it looks pretty decent. I don't know if it goes down this way. We're going to have to go and check real quick. If not, we're going to dip straight out and uh, head back up to another cave. Come on, let's get down there. Let's get down there. Are you looking good? Hello? Hell no. No, no, no. You do not look good at all. You do not look good at all. Let me out of this. I'm dipping back to the surface. We're going to go and get ourselves the cows, everything that we needed, and... uh I, I guess going up for another cave. That's gonna get me every single time when something pops up in the bottom left. Okay, gotta check for apples. I completely forgot about apples. Spent all, all that time cutting down trees to just forget. To just forget. All right, one apple, two. Okay, yeah, it looks like apple rates were up. That's good. We're gonna get ourselves maybe what? Four, five apples, maybe six? I don't know, just enough to keep healed up on the go. It looks like I'm not gonna get anything, but I do have this cow right here. That's uh, that's always a fantastic time. You guys know this by now. We gotta get cows, we gotta get reeds. I do need more reeds. Let me, hmm, maybe hop this way? If there is a river over here, a desert river, I should, should be good. Should be good to get the, get the reeds that I need. Reeds, right there. E oh, yeah, okay. Easy, easy. Deserts, the best. The desert is the best. Let me slide over this way. I'm not honestly sure how long I'm gonna survive in this UHC. I'm trying to go over it in my head. I do this in every single UHC that I partake in. Just sit at the start and I try and figure out how long I'm gonna be alive for. Or who I could potentially kill. Or just anything along those lines. Just anything along those lines. And I guess this is a question for the comment section. This is something that I really like to do in my UHCs. If you guys play a UHC, what is the first thing that's on your mind? Like, what are you thinking? Are you thinking about a specific person you want to kill? Are you thinking about how long you might last? Because I know when it's not being recorded, it's really not as uh, intense, or I guess it is intense, but it's not really as important to make sure that you kill who you want to or like survive in a lot of time. If that, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I've been awake for maybe, maybe 30 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. So if my voice sounds a bit raspy, if I sound a little bit tired, that is completely why. But uh, yeah, I'm just trying to enjoy myself. The sun is setting. We probably want to be dipping down into a cave pretty soon. I, uh, I really want to find a surface cave, but this village, this village is gonna do just as well. Just as well, please give me some books. This, I could not have asked for anything better. Please, please, please. Hoping that nobody spawn around here. Books, yes. Okay, books, books, books. That is exactly what we need. I'm gonna take all of them. I'm gonna take every single book. Not that I will use them, I don't normally get enough XP to be able to use them, but, but, I'm sure, I'm sure that I do not want anybody else to get their hands on these. Snag this one, and snag this one, there we go, whoa, 
voice crack. <laughs> I've got to just sprint in a different direction. I got all the books. I don't know what these biomes are. I can't tell on my resource pack. I can only tell by the shape of the trees. What is it? It's a plains and we probably want to, yeah, we're going to run up our Z coordinate a little bit. I don't want to be that close to zero zero at all. Almost part of me wants to mine down a staircase through the oak forest. See if that would work. Now there is a rule in this UHC that you can edit down your footage to maybe around 10 minutes. So these episodes will always be a 10 minute minimum, but I do like to cut out things like caving or just inventory management. I don't really see it as necessary to keep in the video as I just kind of sit silent during it. I kind of sit silent and just focus on what I'm doing. But I mean, if you guys really want me to include that stuff, be sure to let me know. Like I, I can do anything, but fly. I cannot fly. <laughs> I don't know how to fly. Okay. Sounds like we're getting closer and closer. We're still at Y50 though. So it's probably not worth going to just yet. I'm just going to go straight down in a two by one. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Um, what? Okay, that is a blessing. Okay, all right. First place I drop, first cave I drop into. What? I win. I found I found the stronghold. I'm going to the end. That is the end of the game, unfortunately. Oh, there is a ton of lava around there. I don't want to go near that just yet until I have full armor. Simply for the fact that I'm going to die. I know for a fact I'm going to die. There is a whole lot going on in this cave. It's pretty nice. It sounds very nice, especially to the right of me. It sounds like there is a, sounds like there's some stuff going on in terms of more water. So that is great. We need an iron pickaxe and an iron sword. Let's get that on the go real quick before the stone one dies. Toss that out. We don't need that anymore. <sighs> My one fear about this UHC is dying first. Every single UHC I say it, I do not like dying first. That is my biggest thing. I already had an iron pickaxe. I'm an idiot. I am an idiot, but uh, at least we got two now for use later on. We've got our armor fully stocked up. Let me just uh, do as I said and manage this inventory because it is looking disgusting. All right, there we go. Let's make our way through this cave as fast as we can, I guess. We're going to want to get our iron for an anvil. We're going to get a couple extra iron for some sword enchantments. Uh, I don't want to head up that way. I want to keep on heading down. Give me that iron. We want to keep heading down, 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 but... I can't find a way down, down, down just yet. So I might have to attack the uh, the stronghold a little bit. No, we're not. No, we're not. We will not be doing such a thing. Especially not while that witch is there. Especially while that witch is there. Not playing anywhere near that. That is not a fun time. It's just not. It's just not a fun time. I'm not going in any stronghold that has a witch in it. Simple as that. As simple as that. I don't think there's anybody in their right mind that would walk even within three blocks of that witch. Cause you know, they have strong arms. They can throw those potions like 50 blocks, 50. Not even kidding, not even kidding. I've seen a, I've seen a witch throw a potion 50 blocks, I promise. Let's carry on getting our hands on this iron. I don't even know if I want to explore the stronghold. The only reason I would have to go in there. Okay, okay. The only reason I would have to go in there. Okay, I do have important highlighted doors, that's cool. But yeah, like I was trying to say, the only reason I would have to go on that is potential golden apples in a chest. But at the same time, is it really worth the risk? Is it really worth the risk for something that we might not find? And is it really worth the time? Because I'll be honest, I don't believe I'm going to have any luck in there. I don't believe I'm going to find a single thing. I'm going to take the lapis because I don't know if you need it for enchanting or not. What level are we at? We're at level 15, so there's a uh, yeah, decent chance that we might find diamonds. Not entirely sure. We do, however, need to get ourselves a bucket of water and a bucket of lava. We'll take our crafting bench and we're gonna just dip out. It looks like there's two minutes until PvP is enabled. So this is probably gonna be my last episode. You guys will probably see my death in the next episode because the players in here are all fantastic players. They are all fantastic players. It's not nice to be the first dead, but you know, sometimes you gotta take one for the team. And uh, this gold right here, I'm definitely taking that for the team. Ah, I've set up my defenses, spider. You cannot get through. You will never get me, but I do need your string. I do need your string very badly. Let me snag all of this gold, all of it. One, two, three. It definitely does help having the highlighted doors because that way you can definitely tell what you're getting. Oftentimes in my other resource pack, I'll look at gold and it will look just like iron and I'll just run right past it or I'll just ignore it, which is the same thing as running past it, Will. Okay, let's get ourselves our lava bucket. I'm going to put that in my inventory until PvP comes on because I don't want to be lava, bu lava bucketing myself, to be fair. Any diamonds? Any diamonds at initial first sight? Anything down here? Yeah, there is a uh, water bucket for us to go and mess around with, so we can dip down to some lava pools now. It's nice. Anything under these? 
Nope, lost my water though. Get back here. Okay. I kind of want to just dig around this lava just a little bit, just to take a peek. All right, nothing there. I'm gonna head through this wall though, because it does sound like there's water this way. It's totally legal. Let's uh, <laughs> let's see if we can get to it. I just always like to clarify that what I'm doing is technically legal because uh, people do like to try and call people out in the comment section for cheating. It's a very big thing, which it sucks, but you know. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. What on earth? What? How did I not die right there? Legitimately, somebody has to comment and tell me how I didn't die. Because I have no idea. I have no idea how I didn't just pass away to that creeper. I had no idea it was there. Not a single idea, but that episode has just ended. Oh my god. If I had died right at the end of it, I would have been the maddest ever. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and we'll see you guys in the next episode.